This one is just captioned as, eh, I'm good. If you see this, you are lesbian gay for one day. Oh, it's another one of these little skid marks. It's a classic. I'll give them that. It's nothing new. Oh, <laughs> fun challenge. Be gay for one day. Side effects of this challenge. It might stick for the rest of your life. Good one, you noodle. All gay people have been subjected to this challenge once in their lifetime. And just to prove how dedicated they are to being gay, they do it for the rest of their lives. And that is okay. I support them. Game of urgence, am I right? <laughs> what the frick, Gacha? Acting creepy to a guy who was clearly uncomfortable then to beat him up? So romantic. Okay, I'm gonna read out this post, but I, I can't read it out how they how they want me to read it out. So I'm gonna have to add some stuff just to sort of make my just a bit of comedic relief because I can't take this seriously. Say, you're kinda cute up close. From a distance, you look like a molehill. I wonder how you would react if I kissed you passionately on the lips with my lips. Connected to your lips, it would be, it would be educational. Bruh, <laughs> where did his lips even go? Who made this? Oh yeah, a, a child did. Why, why would you do that? <laughs> I still need to do something else though, which isn't totally creepy and unnecessary and invade your personal space and that I would regret in years to come. <laughs> Bro, he just, he just punches him in the face. So this guy is like a closeted bully who when he came over to punch him in the face, he decided to tell him he's cute up close and that the, he then asks if they should kiss. Whoa, how romantic. And then, yeah, he just punches him in the face. Cool. I wonder how you would react if I kissed you passionately on the lips with my lips. Bing bong, okay, you guys know the drill. Welcome to the channel. Today we are looking at r slash gacha life cringe. Please do not harass anyone in the gacha community. My videos are just for fun. Not everyone in the community is bad. Like and subscribe, it is absolutely free and you can leave anytime you want. Before we continue with the video, let's just see what I was sent on Twitter from my lovely fans, the Game of Virgins. Okay, cool. Fan art is at an all-time high, it seems, with the quality, as you can see here. Here's me. I'm a sperm for some reason, and I'm just staring down Gacha Cringe. Thank you, Potate Supremacy, for this image, and also stating that this is, this is, in fact, me when you tweeted it at me. You know, you even said, ha, this is you, lol. But I guess, nice, <laughs> you made it into the video. But yeah, let's, let's just continue with the video. Why would you sell your wife? I kinda sold you. Bruh, how does that even work? One day you're just chilling, and then your partner comes home and he's like, Babe, you gotta pack your things because I sold you for Robux. I mean, like, what does he mean by kinda sold you? You either did or you didn't. Did he get tricked? Did he offer you, like, a peanut for your wife for a couple of days without implying how long? It was obviously the end of days. Must have been like a magic peanut or something, but Jesus, kids have the weirdest imagination. X freaking excuse me, you're 12. Why am I so fricked up in the head? This is a classic. Again, it's not original. Every kid who makes gacha cringe seems to think that they're messed up in the head, but we're here for you. The Simp King and the Game of Virgins, we are here for you. That was a blatant lie I just said, but I don't know why I said that, but <laughs> let's see what makes them go crazy. I'll tell you, please do, what is the awful thing doing this to you, child? Whoa, this is some crazy stuff. Rainbow Factory, okay, Smile HD, Cupcakes HD, okay, am I missing something here? Are these something I don't know what they are because they don't seem that bad, but then over here it's just... Minecraft spaghetti mod. Like, why is that there? Why are you watching this? Or what, what is going on? I think the only thing we can do for you is just put you in the bin. That's, that's the only thing I can prescribe you. Imagine going into a pet shop and seeing this. Oh yeah, I can totally see myself going to a pet store with the hopes of buying a rabbit or a dog. And what I'm showing is a small child eating his own t-shirt while drooling. Yeah, I can, I can totally imagine that. I mean, how could you not imagine that? <laughs> I'm trying to find more content to put in the video, but the subreddit is just full of gacha heat and my eyes do not need to see that. There is this weird trend as well going on at the moment where gacha characters give birth and the baby gets stuck. 
Draco giving birth but the baby gets stuck. Gacha life request. Who requested this? I'm assuming this isn't Draco Malfoy from Harry Potter, but there's just so many videos like this. Draco giving birth to 20 babies at home. Part 1. Part 1? Bro, you mean there's a part 2? Get in the bin. Found this gem while looking through my Pixar notifications. Hi, I'm Pre... 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 Round of applause for the attempt this child made at spelling pregnant. And no, do not give me a round of applause for how I very clearly could not pronounce that word because it was wrong, okay? I swear when I was a young kid, no one ever made anything like this, at least not to my knowledge. I just, I just don't get the fascination some kids have with doing this type of thing. Like, literally just go outside and touch some grass. Let us show you who's in control here, newbie. Bruh, if you think I'm gonna watch a nearly 44 minute long video to find out, goddamn, absolutely not. But I did find the video, not because I plan to watch it later, but I just wanted to get an idea of what kind of happened in this video. And the disclaimer is already great. Contains LGBTQ, obviously need to put a warning out there for that pesky LGBTQ content because you're going to have some intolerant spaghetti muffins out there being angry about it. Bad storyline and time skips. Imagine making something and being like, hey guys, disclaimer, this story is bad. Yo, if you put time into something, be proud of that. 44 minutes ain't no joke. You know, I'm just out here trying to spread that mm, positivity, you know, obviously Respect to whoever made this, so please do not go and leave any negative comments on their video if you go looking. Be supportive and kind, I'm just having a laugh, I don't want to cause any trouble. I actually looked through the comments to try and get an idea of what it was like and that wasn't much help because I just found comments like, this ain't an all boys school, it's an all gay school. Okay then, but yeah, just, just be nice to people who make videos like this. The fake disorder kids and gacha kids are coming together. Split personality disorder, bruh, 34 minutes long. I don't know much about DID, I think that's what it's called, but these kids seem to think one minute they are Sophie, the next minute they're Amy. It's so weird, they're just like, oh yeah, Amy is the angry side, she always does the bad things. Like, <laughs> what? If you self-diagnose yourself with something without seeking any help from a trained professional, that is just stupid and irresponsible. Go set up a lemonade stand and make some money. Don't do this. I'm gonna dress in black so I look spaghetti. Oh, of course, that's how it works. If you wear any black, it means you're spaghetti. I, I just can't with these kids anymore. They just need to go outside, get some fresh air and drink some milk. It actually astounds me how disconnected they are to think that anyone's gonna see this and be like, wow, how cool and relatable is this? Right, okay, my eyes are done. They they have melted. I need a nap after looking at all this gacha cringe. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, comment what you thought, send me any memes on Twitter or Instagram because I do enjoy seeing them. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all next time.